Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and this is going to be an interesting video. This is some footage that I had left over from the Bronco Off Rodeo that I did uh, in August of last year. And uh, I was literally going through my files, cleaning up videos, and I was like, you know what? I never posted this footage. This is kind of what the second channel is for, so uh, here we go. This is basically just going to be a bunch of uh, different shots of uh, different Broncos and a little bit of off roading and. Uh, stuff like that. So nothing terribly exciting. Uh, just give you guys a heads up <laughs> if you want to click away for some reason. Um, but yeah, you guys can see this is kind of like a short walk around of the Bronco they had in the uh, showroom. It's in Outer Banks. Um, and this is, again, this is for the off-rodeo in Texas, uh, if you guys were uh, wondering. So it was really cool to see this like all uh, set up here with the doors off and everything. And uh, one thing that I'd like to mention about the uh, off-rodeo, and I guess this will be my review of the off-rodeo <laughs> experiences, it was cool, all the stuff that they had set up on display uh, so that you could see everything, um, not only that you you know would get with your Bronco right from the factory, but all the stuff you could add to your Bronco uh, after the fact as well. I thought that it was awesome. All, uh, really cool um, if you ask me and it's really this this whole setup right here I think is perfect like the fact they have this just like set up flexed here uh, in the showroom kind of like one of the first things you see with uh, when you enter the off rodeo I thought was really uh, unique and really cool so then it's like okay this is you know probably what we're going to be getting into so it kind of like slowly gets you used to and ready for <laughs> what's about to happen uh later in the day and if you guys are interested to see like some off actual off-roading uh, i have those videos already posted on the main channel they're posted like months and months ago um so if you just type in ben hardy bronco off-roading it should pop right off uh, up basically you guys can see the rigid lights there as well and um yeah you know overall again being able to see this i thought was uh really cool and uh by the way the uh, showroom was very nice because it was like super air conditioned and the rest of the place obviously being outside was not and it was very hot and humid um and then these are all the broncos that were part of the off rodeo they had uh, they're all obviously sasquatch packages um but there's there's several different trim levels uh now here's my personal recommendation to you guys is try to get a Badlands. Uh, two door, four door doesn't really matter, but try to get a Badlands uh, with the Sasquatch or the first edition so you can get the uh, stabilizer bar disconnect. Because I first took a wild track and I have a video of that, and then I switched from wild track to a Badlands, and having the stabilizer bar disconnect made a huge, huge difference. Uh, and they also have Bronco Sports. So, funny enough, if you purchase a Bronco Sport, you can still do the off rodeo, but with the Sport, um, the Trails are different, right? The trails for the big Bronco are way different than the <laughs> Bronco Sport, but you can still take it out and off-road it and, uh, you know, do some adventure stuff with it, which that's why I love this program so much. I'm, and I'm super grateful that Ford does this uh, for the customers because I think it's awesome that it's like, oh, hey, you buy this vehicle and it has this off-road capability and you don't know how to use that. Here, we're going to basically have this course for you so you learn how to uh, use that and basically use the full potential of your vehicle i think that's uh, really cool and uh, i think more manufacturers should do something like this i know it's expensive but i feel like there's a return on this it, uh, that's just my personal opinion and yeah you guys can see all the tents and stuff pretty cool setup and then here's a bunch of the accessories you can add uh to it they just kind of have this all out here so <laughs> it's it's kind of like um the best way to describe it is it's kind of like an outside mall in a sense right you have all this stuff that's like put in front of you so you're like hey you just bought this bronco now you should buy this and that and this and that and then you can do this <laughs> It's, it's kind of how it is. Um, and then here is a uh, quick little walk around of the Bronco that I started with. Uh, now this one's the Wild Trek. Uh, it's a two door and it looks super cool, right? With the, uh, you know, bar that pops up and everything, the aggressive bumpers and all that. Um, but the one downside about the Wild Trek and why I've been kind of uh, recommending people away from it uh, is just the fact that it doesn't have the stabilizer bar disconnect. And you know what? Most people are never going to use that. But I guess that my kind of feeling about it is like, if you get, you know, the Badlands, for example, it has the same shocks, same suspension, same tires, same wheels, but it has that extra feature. And so, like, maybe you'll never use it, but at least you have the ability to use it. Whereas with the Wild Track, you don't. Um, and that's also the thing that I thought was interesting with the kind of like Bronco uh, marketing, right? is like they market the Wild Track as like the high speed version because it doesn't have the stabilizer bar disconnect, but like the Badlands can do just as much high speed stuff right? There's no difference. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and then you guys can see the interior here. Uh, it was pretty interesting with the two-tone with the tan and the black, not my favorite color combo, but you know, uh, 
it looked pretty uh, decent uh, overall. And um, you guys can see here at the back seat, the storage space back there and all that. And I think this was the first time I had a chance to even uh, see like a, a Bronco in person. I can't remember now, like timelines and everything, but I think it was one of the first times I ever saw the Bronco in person. And so it was, or no, it wasn't, but it was the first, I think Sasquatch or something. I don't know. I probably had things mixed up. Uh, but anyways, you guys can see the auxiliary switches here at the top and that whole setup um, with it. And this one, you guys saw had the light bar. So of course I was uh, messing with people by <laughs> turning that on and off because that's uh, just something I do. Uh, and then you guys can see the camera right there as well. And uh, yeah, it, it was it was a really cool experience. Again, like I said, just being able to drive them and all that uh, and uh, just have so much seat time in the Bronco and really uh, showing me whether or not I wanted to uh, keep the one that I had an order as bad as that sounds. Um, and then also this next little bit is some off-roading done by one of the uh, gentlemen at Bill Stein. And so, I don't know, I, I just threw it in this video because I thought you guys would enjoy it. Um, some of the uh, talking and also seeing the off-roading as well. And uh, so, yeah, that is a little, like, tour, I guess, of uh, this little the Bronco off-roadio, but let's get into the off-roading. That is intense. <laughs> this is going to be fun for you to do. It really is impressive that stock vehicle is negotiating that. <clears throat> and that second Bronco, just hang tight for me. You can pull up to this rock right here. So hang tight there while I get Morgan out of the way. And windows down for me so I can holler at you. kind of Germany's philosophy on allowing people at a younger age to actually be able to drink. Look at that. Alright. 